Hello everyone, it's me again, Teacher Koy, and welcome to Isip Math Tutorial. And for today's video, pag-usapan po natin yung module 1 ng ating 4th quarter sa ating grade 8 mathematics. So, 4th quarter na po tayo. So, this is module 1 of our grade 8 mathematics. Pero bago pong lahat, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon para po lagi po updated sa lahat ng mga bagong videos po natin. And please don't forget to follow our Facebook page, Isip Ma Tutorial, and join our Facebook group, DepEd Teachers Files. Okay, so and for today's video, ang ating topic po ay Triangle Inequality. Okay, Triangle Inequality. And once again, this is for Grade 8 Mathematics, Quarter 4, Module 1. Okay. So, ang ating objectives at the end of this module, the student should be able to illustrate exterior angle inequality theorem, illustrate triangle inequality theorem, and illustrate hinge theorem. Okay, and for our lesson 1, we have your exterior angle inequality theorem. So, before we discuss the exterior angle inequality theorem, let us first define exterior angle and remote interior angles. Ano po ba itong tinatawag nating exterior angle at saka yung remote interior angles? So, yung ating exterior angle, so, an exterior angle of a, of a triangle is an angle that forms a linear pair with one of the angles of the triangle. So, we have the illustration here. So, if this is our triangle, di ba? So, this one, yung sa labas, di ba? Exterior, di ba? Nasa, nasa labas, di ba? Exterior, kasi yung nasa loob, interior, di ba? So, this, this one, Angle 4 is our exterior angle, di ba? Nag-form po siya ng linear pair with one of the angles of the of the angles of the triangle, di ba? Angle 3 and angle 4 nag-form po sila ng linear pair. Pero yung ating exterior angle, si angle 4 kasi siya po yung nasa dun sa labas, exterior. Okay, next, remote interior angles of a triangle, di ba? Are the angles that do not form a linear pair with the exterior angle. Kung si angle 3 ay sila po yung nag-form na linear pair kay angle 4 which is our exterior angle. So, yung hindi po nakapag-form ng linear pairs at exterior angle, sila po yung remote interior angles. So, based at ating drawing, si angle 1 and angle 2 is our remote interior angles. ba Remote. Ibig sabihin remote. Malayo siya doon kay exterior angles. ba From the word remote. Okay, so next, so we have now the exterior angle inequality theorem. So for any triangle, the measure of an ex exterior angle is equal to the sum of the measures of its two remote interior angles. Okay, so ibig sabihin nito, yung exterior angle natin ay yung kanyang measurement o sukat ay equal doon sa sum. Ibig sabihin sum, if we add those two remote inter angles but if we add those two remote inter angles then the result is the measurement of our exterior angle okay so for example we have here this illustration diba we have this triangle okay then our remote ano our exterior angle is angle 4 diba angle 4 so the measurement of angle 4 is the measurement of the or is is the, is the measurement of i mean is the sum of the measurement of the two remote interior angles. So, yung ating remote interior angles ay si angle 1 at si angle 2. So, therefore, if we add the measurement of angle 1 and the measurement of angle 2, the result is the measurement of our angle 4, which is our exterior angle. So, therefore, magiging ganito, ang, the measurement of angle 4 is equal to the measurement of angle 1 plus the measurement of angle 2. Okay, so, ganyan na po ka-easy, di ba? If you want to know the measurement of our exterior angle, then we will add the measurement of the two remote interior angles. Then the result is the measurement of our exterior angle. The measure of an exterior angle of a triangle is greater than the measure of either of its two remote interior angles. Ibig sabihin, if we add these two, two angles, angle 1 and angle 2, the result is the measurement of angle 4. So, ibig sabihin na, yung measurement angle 4 dapat mas greater sa kesa sa measurement ni angle 1 taka kay angle 2. Okay, so we have here the measurement of angle 4 is greater than the measurement of angle 1 
And the measurement of angle 4 is greater than measurement of angle 2. Okay, so I hope nag po yung ibig po natin sabihin. So we have here the illustration. Find the measurement of angle U. So we have here the measurement of angle U. Given po yung si angle R, which is 50 degrees. Tapos yung exterior angle po natin na 120 degrees. Diba? So by exterior angle equal to theorem, diba, sa exterior angle, if this is our exterior angle, ang measurement niya ay equal if is, is equal to this one if you add these two angles angle u and angle r so therefore angle u plus angle r is equal to this one 120 diba or angle u st okay so now magiging ganito angle u plus angle r is equal to angle u st okay alam natin kung yung yung measurement yung angle r which is 50 degrees diba then we know also the measurement of angle UST, which is 120 degrees. So, therefore, ang ating unknown ay si angle U. Okay, so using the property of equality, add both sides by negative 50 degrees para malipat si 50 degrees dito sa right side. Ang maiwan sa kabila ay si angle U. So, nagiging angle U is equal to 120 degrees minus 50 degrees, which is, if we simplify this one, the result is 70 degrees. So, therefore, angle U is 70 degrees. And to check... Kung tama po yung sagot natin, we will add angle U and angle R. Diba? Angle U plus angle R is, uh, is equal to our exterior angle which is angle UST. And the measurement is 120 degrees. So, angle U is 70 plus 50. The result is 120 degrees which is the measurement of angle UST. Okay. So, that's it. For our Lesson number two, we have a triangle inequality theorem. So, we have here the illustration, triangle ABC. So, the sum of any two sides or two side lengths of a triangle is greater than the third side length. So, ibig sabihin nito, di ba, yung sa triangle, may, mayroon po tayo tatlong sides. Di ba? If we add the two sides, dapat greater sa dun sa naiwang isang side. Di ba? So, ganito po yun. We have this triangle, di ba? A, B, C, triangle A, B, C. So, if we add this side, A, B, plus B, C, dapat mas greater sa kay A, C. Okay. Then, if we add this side, B, C, plus A, C, dapat mas greater sa kay A, B. Okay. Then, the last one, side A, C, plus side A, B, dapat greater sa kay B, C. So, that's the triangle inequality theorem. Okay. So, para mas maintindihan po natin, we have here the illustration. Tell whether a triangle can have sides with a given lens. By the way, what if, if we add those two sides, tapos less than po sa sa third side. So, ibig sabihin yan, hindi po tayo pwede makapag-form ng isang triangle. Dapat, yung dalawang side, if, if we add those two sides, dapat greater po sa doon sa third side. Okay. Kasi if Less than sa third side, ibig sabihin hindi po tayo makapagbuo ng triangle. Okay? So, tell whether a triangle can have sides with a given length. So, we have the length of our three sides. We have 5, 8, and 10. Okay? So, if we add this one, 5 plus 8, dapat greater sa kay 10. So, 5 plus 8, the result is 13. Diba? Greater than 10. So, true. Then, 5 plus 10, dapat greater kay 8. So, 5 plus 10 is 15. 15 is greater than 8. Then, the last one is 8 plus 10. So, 8 plus 10, that is 18, is greater than 5. So, 8 plus 10 is 18, greater than 5. So, true. So, the sum of each pair of side lengths is greater than the third length. So, a triangle can have side lengths 5, 8, and 10. So, pwede po siya, yung, tri yung triangle po natin ay merong side na 5, 8, and 10. So, kung merong dalawang side na if we add that sides, tapos mas less than sa doon sa ika third side, so, ibig sabihin, hindi po tayo makapag-form ng triangle. Okay. So, next, we have here lesson number three. Hence theorem and converse of the hence theorem. Ano po ba tong hence theorem? At saka converse of the hence theorem. First, hence theorem. If two sides of a triangle are congruent of two sides of another triangle and the included angle of the first 
is larger than the included angle of the second triangle, then the third side of the first triangle is longer than the third side of the second triangle. So hinge of the triangle theorem, the hinge theorem. So we have an illustration. We have this triangle ABC and triangle DEF. Okay, so ang ibig sabihin ng definition, for example, this one, if AC, this one, AC, diba? AC is greater than DF, okay, then angle B is greater than angle E. Okay, so ganito po siya. Para mas maintindihan po natin, we have here triangle ABC and triangle DEF. Side BC is congruent to side EF. Diba? Meron pa tayong markings dito. And side BA is congruent to side ED. Okay, may markings po tayo dyan. Tapos, yung included angle dito sa first triangle, which is, tri which is uh, sa uh, angle B, ay greater po siya doon sa included angle sa second triangle, which is angle E. Diba? So, ibig sabihin nito, since angle B is greater than angle E, so therefore, side AC, di ba, opposite ng ating ang included angle, di ba? Angle B, opposite niya side AC. Since angle B is greater than angle E, so therefore, side AC is greater than side DF. Uh, di ba, yung, yung, yung ano po niya, yung, yung kanyang, ang measurement angle niya, di ba? Kasi mas maliit po yung angle E kay sakay angle B. So therefore, mas shorter si side DF kay, si, kay ni side EC. Okay, so that's for the hinge theorem. Okay, so next, punta tayo sa converse of the hinge theorem. So converse of the hinge theorem. If two sides of triangle are congruent to two sides of another triangle and the third side of the first is longer than the third side of the second, then the included angle in the first triangle is greater than the included angle in the second triangle. Diba kanina sa hence theorem, yung dalawang sides na isang triangle ay congruent doon sa dalawang sides sa isang triangle. The included, yung included angle ng first triangle ay greater than, than the included angle of the second triangle. So, ibig sabihin, yung third side ng first triangle ay greater than doon sa third side ng second triangle. Sa converse of the hence theorem dito, baliktad po siya. Okay? Kung meron daw dalawang sides na congruent, okay? if this triangle, meron dalawang side na congruent dun sa dalawang side din ng triangle na to, tapos yung third side ng first triangle na di ba, ay greater dun sa third side ng other triangle. So, ibig sabihin dun na yung opposite ng third side sa first triangle, di ba? opposite niya ay yung angle. Okay, diba? Yung angle yung opposite niya. So, the, the angle opposite to the third side of the first triangle is greater than the angle opposite to the third side of the second triangle. So, yan po yung converse of the hinge theorem. Okay? Yung binasihan po natin doon ay yung haba ng side, third side. Diba? Opposite ng third side is yung angle, included angle. So, therefore, since yung third side ay mas mahaba, so, it means yung opposite angle niya, yung opposite angle dun sa third side, which is the included angle is larger or greater than the angle opposite to the third side of the other triangle. So, I hope nag-gets yung ibig po natin sabihin. Okay? So, ito po siya. Example. Given side AB is congruent to side XZ. Okay, we have A, B is one and side x z side x z okay side x z then angle a this one is 52 degrees and angle x is 32 degrees so complete the statement with less than greater than or equal okay so this side is congruent to this side and this side is congruent to this side but the included angle this one angle A is greater than angle X so yung tanong po natin is side BC is greater than or less than or equal to side YZ 
So the answer is side BC is greater than to side YZ. Bakit? Mas malaki si angle A, di ba? Yung included angle. Kumpara kay angle X, yung yung included angle po dito sa kabilang triangle. Tapos, so, ibig sabihin doon, yung opposite side ni angle A, which is side BC, is longer than the opposite side of angle X, which is, which is only 32 degrees. And the opposite side is YZ. So, therefore, BC is greater than YZ. Okay, so, by the hence theorem po yan. Okay, so, I hope nag po yung ibig, nyo, ibig po natin sabihin. Okay, so, learning is a never-ending process. So, mag-aral na mabuti para ang buhay ay bumuti. Once again, this is me, Teacher Koy of ECMA Tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you on my next video.